<clears throat> I'm sorry if this video I sound a bit like chesty or coffee or anything. I've got a bit of a bit of a cold, you know. But the day before doesn't make any fucking sense. It just don't. So I know it's been a good while since I posted videos, especially about concerning the day before. But what a fucking disaster it's been. I literally cannot comprehend what they wanted or what the fuck they were doing. Like, <laughs> you know? In all my previous videos about this game, I've had so much excitement and they've all been, like, I've throughout every single video I've just been hyping it up and I've been there since the start. And, like, they've had so many controversies and I've just been like, you know what, work out, work out, it'll work. It hasn't worked out. I mean, the concept is a 10 out of 10. You tell me that in an open world survival game based building loads of zombies, which we saw in the trailers, like, each of the trailers, you can see how many zombies there are. Like, go from inside the tower, there's loads of them. Filled with loot, different gear, plus a very large map with loads of different places to explore. Full towers in the sea to the cold rocky mountains, all in one explorable map. On top of this, loads of players, hence the MMO side of it all, are leading straight to a PvPV experience where you could be looting a massive mall and then get a gunfight with another group of players. The gunshot could then have you being chased by zombies. I mean, you've seen the malls, you've seen the trailers, you've seen the cars, which have been so cool. Don't get me wrong, you could have got the cars in the actual game when it was out for like three days, but it wasn't realistic. It's nothing like it at all when the full game came out. First of all, changes from what it was promised to an extraction shooter with zombies in it. So it's just a bit like, you know, Tarkov, but a bit different. Would have been cool if they had some other issues, you know? Had some very bad launch day issues. First servers released a few per region, which makes no fucking sense to me at all. Why would you release just like four, four, and it's not like five? But about 50 to 100 servers filled with ma 50 maximum players. Like, if I want to play with one of my friends, I couldn't have. If I wanted to get into the game, I couldn't have. Second, no zombies anywhere. And if you did find one of them in about 15 minutes of running, that net code is so shit and it hurt. It took about 400 bullets to kill a zombie. That's hyperbole, but you get the idea. They didn't react at all until they died. And you get snuck on by another player. You one shot, you're gone. However, something that does work, make it even fucking worse, is that they wouldn't bloody stop running after you to begin with. They changed that. It doesn't matter because the game's fucking done. It's ridiculous. Yeah, worst looting system I've ever experienced in any game ever. Um, basically, the only things you could loot is cars. And then on top of that, it was like repeat copy and paste stores. Like 10 buildings, nothing promised. You could barely go inside houses. And that was just the ones that like were in the trailers. You could see they would just use that for a trailer. There's nothing. There's no point in going to the top of the map because there's nowhere getting out. Plus, you couldn't find cars. You have to grind the in-game currency to unlock them. And I mean, like, look, you're getting 5k from a, like... A challenge which takes so long to do it's just not it's really not worth doing them and then like first of all they're glitchy as fuck when the game came out like i'm with remember i'm talking about a game that doesn't actually exist anymore it's a game that came out and doesn't exist anymore which makes no sense like there was nothing to do in the actual map apart from fire other players but even then the net code was bad the gunplay was bad and they expected to pay 40 dollars uh or whatever that translates to about 35 pounds for early access which is pretty steep to be fair for an early access game, especially by like a developer like Matoma or the publisher, shall I say, and the developer's fantastic. It's completely unrealistic. Like, you, me as a person, I'm not paying, well, I did pay and then I refunded like everyone else, but it doesn't, it, it, didn't, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, Around 20 to 30 is kind of a bit more reasonable dollars wise. I mean, I'm, I'm not really expecting to pay anything above 16 quid for like a early access game. It's early access, you know, I'm buying into it. Like, Plus, if people aren't going to feel as much like the need to get their money back, when people are paying like 35 quid, you're going to want to get your money back. But like, that's whatever. Some games, yeah, whatever. Uh, obviously, they gave refunds to like basically everyone after saying fuck it and delete it. So you can no longer buy it at all on Steam. You can't buy any of the games on Steam. The Discord could completely new. And all their YouTube videos have just been removed, basically. Um, it's not inherently a scam, because they gave back everyone the money. Uh, and if it is a scam, they've done it in a really bad way. They've managed to fail doing a scam. They've They've scammed them Sam. They've scammed the scammers, which is themselves. I mean, like, you know, announcing a game three years ago that first of all clearly weren't the game they were working on at the time. But also just why why lie for so long? It doesn't make any sense. It could be an amazing game. It turned out to be the worst game I've ever played. It literally just frazzles my small brain. It doesn't make any sense. Why as a developer would you spend so much time promoting this product? So that's what it is. It's a product. They're going to release this game. Hey guys, come on, let's play this game. Let's, let's spend this money. And obviously, like, they didn't get the funding they expected to to be able to afford to keep making it. Then why delete it? Why delete all their games? Something clearly was going on in the background. I don't think we'll find out for a very long time. Release a game. Game comes out. Game shit. They were updating it for that first couple of days. There's patch notes and everything on the servers. I don't think it'll be easy to access them anymore. They'll probably screenshot somewhere. But it's just... And that part doesn't make any sense at all to me. Why would you release a game and work on it and then delete it? Even if loads of people were funding it, refunding it, there were still players on it. And you could just work on that. And when the game gets better, people will start playing because it's a better game. But it just, it just wasn't the case in this one. Um, just 
just doesn't make any bloody sense. Like I said earlier, the game concept is such a good idea. If someone did that so effectively, that would that would make a lot of money, you know? But I feel like it, it set a bad precedent for everyone else. Like, I was good we were all sceptical. I mean, I was a lot less on the sceptical side because I like to believe in the better things, which obviously hurt, hurt more than it helped. I mean, like, I came to, like, close to the release. I was just like, this game isn't going to be very good. I'll give it a try anyways. But, like... It just isn't anything they promised. The base building aspect was really shit. There was no reason for it to be in the game. They focused their bits on the wrong things. They should have just made a good open world and then kind of gone from there. It just wasn't fun to explore. It wasn't fun to play. I don't, like, they released trailers three, three years ago that had the basis of the game, in theory. If that obviously wasn't, like, small snippet or whatever. There was mechanics. It hasn't taken an extra three years. Actually, like, I'm sure you could go to that and go to, like, an actual, like, higher publisher, like, Activision, like, Blizzard, kind of the same company, Epic Games, Valve. You could got good backing. It's a good idea. You've got a good basis, you know, trailer, you see people, people are, like, interested in it. But no, they just, just did their own thing, and their own thing was wrong. And obviously, a while ago, there's that like, controversy where, um, they had everyone, like, trick saying that the game is not on steam anymore because it's copyrighted and that goes back to using the same name which is fine it's claimed but there's so many things off about that so many things off about that i mean there's not much more i can say other than just don't don't trust games until they come out i mean you've seen it a lot more recently with games like cyberpunk when that first came out day before just hold off your horses well watch someone else play it before you buy it unless you got the money and even then play an hour and a half stop it have a little look around because you know you don't want to have like two three hours in boom you can't refund it it's just yeah it's it's a sad sad world we live it's cold world cold world but yeah i mean i appreciate you watching um thank you very much see you in the next one